What's up, everybody, and welcome back to a special episode of A Beer A Day with TK. As many of you watch beer review videos, you know one of the greatest things that you can get in the beer review community, or just in the beer drinking community in general, is beer mail. There's nothing better than a box of beer showing up. Now, sometimes when you work with the subscription services, you kind of know what's coming. Other times when you trade with friends or other beer reviewers that are friends, um, it's kind of a crapshoot. So I worked out a trade with Wayne's Beer Delivery. If you haven't checked out his channel yet, go check it out. Um, he's down in South Carolina. It does a lot of really cool beer reviews. Um, and what I enjoy about it is a lot of beers that I don't really see. You know, as we all know, there are a lot of states that are kind of big in the brewing. So Colorado, Ohio, Michigan, California, obviously. And we see a lot of these beers out there on, on BrewTube, right, on YouTube beer channels. But what you don't see is stuff from other states. So when I heard Wayne was in South Carolina and wanted to work out a trade, I was thrilled. I can't say that I see beers from South Carolina on the shelves here ever. Um, and I bet if I went on Untapped, I may have had two or three maybe by accident in you know, 20 plus years of drinking beer. So super hyped to be able to get this box and I'm excited to see what's in it. So let's take a look. All right. The other great thing when you get beer mail is when you find out that it's intact and there's nothing leaking out the bottom and it appears you actually got all the beers in one piece. You got to remember, it is a crapshoot, right? These are traveling hundreds, if not thousands of miles. So let's see what we got here. All right. So we got a little letter here from Wayne, your package, courtesy of Wayne's Beer Delivery. Again, go check out his channel. So we got a couple of beers in here. Uh, let's go see what they are. I'll see if I can open them first. And here's another great thing. If you're going to get involved in beer trades, um, packaging is key. Make sure you pack your stuff up so it arrives in one piece. Now, look, I know there's people out there that are going to say, I can ship it however and it shows up. Anderson trades beer with a buddy who basically just tosses them all into a box, no padding, no nothing, and they all show up fine. But I know my luck. The minute I don't do it this way, I'm going to have a mess on my hands. So these bubble wrapped each one individually, which is super cool. Usually when I do it, I also wrap them in a Ziploc bag, like a um, sandwich bag, just in case one of them were to burst. It won't leak out the bottom and be detected, essentially. So let's see what we got here. Beer number one. I also save all this stuff and recycle it for other beer trades. Isn't that ridiculous? Thomas Creek Brewery Stink, uh, Sink the Status Quo. This is a brewery, obviously, I have absolutely never heard of. Uh, Thomas Creek Brewery LLC, Greenville, South Carolina. So there's one. And this is uh, River Falls Red Ale. Let's go to the second one. Feel like a kid at Christmas whenever I get mail like this. Now look, I know this is just a small box. If you check out Don's beer reviews, Don's house must be like a kid, you know, it must be like Santa's workshop with all the beers and packages he has coming in. He's the king of beer delivery. So I'm, I'm still excited to get this one. It's not as many as his, but it's decent. This one's called Quitting Time Hellas Bach Beer. And this brewery is Quitting Time. Loud, dark, funky, quitting time, Hellas Bach. Ah, Brewery 85. And where are these guys out of? Greenville, South Carolina as well. Go on to some big cans here, the tall boys. This one is 13 Stripes Brewery, Broken Crown, Hoppy Lager. And see if it says Broken Crown. To say Taylor's, South Carolina. There's a quote on the back here for Major General Charles Lee. Very interesting. North Carolina Brew. Things We Don't Say. Looks like this is Seminar Brewing. Uh, hazy IPA, Seminar Brewing. Florence, South Carolina. Very interesting. Florence, South Carolina. I almost went to college in this town. There's a school there, I don't know if it still is, called uh, Francis Marion University. And many years ago, I had applied and was accepted to and almost went to the school. Then I realized how hot it is in the South, and I abandoned it and stayed in Pennsylvania. All right. How do you spell bougie? This is fruited with Cara Cara oranges and Meyer lemons. Uh, basically... 
King making Bono kiss the ring. Ah, basically King making Bono kiss the ring. My segue rims bling. Okay, so we got some Liability Brewing Company brew, and this one is out of where is this out of? Liability Brewing, Greenville, South Carolina as well. And final one, looks like a strawberry blonde ale. And Frothy Beard Brewing, Charleston. I heard that's a beautiful town. I had a buddy who used to live there, but I've never been down there. Frothy Beard Brewing. That's got to be one of the coolest names for a brewery I've ever run into. Um, yeah, and these are all South Carolina beers. And again, never had anything from any of these breweries, let alone even heard of these breweries. So super excited to be able to give these a shot. And again, thanks, Wayne, for sending these out, man. Really appreciate it. I look forward to doing some reviews. Um, I'll probably wait on some of these a little bit because I'd like to have Anderson have the opportunity to try these um, as he usually shares all his really cool beers with me. Only seems fair that I share mine with him. And again, thrilled to be able to showcase some South Carolina brews. So keep your eyes on the channel. I'll probably be hitting these ones up, doing reviews in the next couple of weeks or so. So again, thanks, Wayne, for the beer trade. Greatly appreciate it. And uh, thanks for your time. Hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon. Cheers.